So then I give them, so this is point number three, I give them a, an analogy. I mention to them that suppose if aliens, if they are out there, if they come down to earth and they ask me the question, you know Sabir, what? Hey yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Jesse Keegan and we are Fanny and Jesse. So right about now we're going to do another reaction video guys. But before we get into the reaction, we want to thank everybody out there who's been subscribing to our channel. You are the previous MVP and also you want to thank the people who've been giving us reaction videos. You guys are just amazing, amazing, super, super amazing. And also, we are trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. We are shy of like 200 subscribers, something like that. I know we're going to get there soon enough. And also you want to thank the people who made us get to 2 million lifetime views. You guys are really amazing. Thank you and thank you again, man. So right about now, we're going to do a reaction. And this one was suggested by a lot of people. They say that we should go to react to a lady asked tough questions about Sharia law gets an amazing reply. Yes. So everybody knows about the Sharia law. I think it's not in each and every country, but it's in a mostly in the Muslim countries. I think so, mostly in the Muslim countries, maybe in the in the Arab countries or something like that. Yeah, if I'm not wrong, just correct me on the comment section below. So today we're gonna to react to that, and without any further ado, guys, let's get it. Uh, you know, as, as we're living here in America, um, you know, I think a lot of people are confused about that. Sure. Um, sure. Okay. Yeah, sure. okay, Alhamdulillah. You know, this is a really important question. Any misconception, any concern that our fellow Americans, they may have about the term Sharia and Sharia law. So very important, first and foremost, we have to define what Sharia is, right? And we should not, personally, I don't go into the linguistic definition that is going to confuse them more. I will not go into, you know, what is the root words of Sharia and what does it imply. What I mentioned to them is, Sharia is a how-to manual. When we go to a new work, there is a employee's handbook. When we go to a new school for to study, that's a student's handbook. So I say that Sharia is Allah's guidance. It's a how-to manual of how humans can live with God's guidance with justice, harmony, unity, and peace for all. It's a how-to manual. Easy to understand with any person that we converse. Number one is the definition. Number two is, they may sometimes think that Sharia is something new, guidance is something new that came to Muhammad, peace be upon him. So I mentioned to the non-Muslims is that, you know, when they look into the Old Testament, the Ten Commandments, which are there in the Bible, in the Old Testament, Exodus chapter 20, verse number 3, Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse number 6, the Ten Commandments, we say that that was the Sharia given to Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, and his people. And then I go over really quickly, what are the Ten Commandments? The very first commandment is that worship only one God, do not make any images. Then the rest of the commandments have to do with, you know, respect your parents, do not lie, do not cheat, be good to your neighbors. All of these, we say that that was the Sharia guidance given to Moses and his people. Point number two. Then point number three, I ask the audience, especially the non-Muslims in the open houses, you know, what comes to your mind when you see the images on Fox News, right? About, they talk about Sharia and what images do they see? About oppression, punishment, stoning, cutting of hands, right? So then I give them, so this is point number three, I give them a, an analogy. I mentioned to them that suppose if aliens, if they are out there, if they come down to earth and they ask me the question, you know Sabir, what is the U.S. Constitution all about? And if I tell them that the U.S. Constitution punishes people by capital punishment, that's all I say, then they leave. Am I doing justice to the U.S. Constitution? Why not? It's much, much more, right? I'm just mentioning what? The punishment system of the Constitution. In the same way we mention to the non-Muslims is that within the breadth and the beauty of the Sharia guidance, punishment 
is just less than 0.5 percent. You know, there are 6,000 plus passages of the Quran. Less than 10 of them, they speak about the punishment in this life. If you compile all of them together, they will fill not even one page. And point number four is this. Punishment, checks and balances, prevention is always important in any civilized society. That's the reason we have the police force, we have the homeland security, the TSA, the army, the navy, because we want to have checks and balances. In the same way, within Islam, in a true Islamic state, there should be checks and balances. But these punishment system, the justice system, it cannot be taken in our own hand. It has to be the legal jurist with proper consultation, extracting from God's guidance, with proper process and witnesses, that's when the punishment is taken, not just to punish a person, but as a preventive measure, mostly. So that's point number four. And the Bible also has the same punishment systems, by the way, in the Old Testament. Point number five is, that's when we come and convey the examples of other examples of the Sharia guidance. So we mentioned to the non-Muslims is that when the Quran speaks in chapter 49, verse number 13, God says, Allah says in the Quran, this is a translation, that, O oh mankind, O oh humanity, I have created you from one single male and one single female, and made you into people and nations and tribes, that you get to know each other. Not that you may despise each other, you get to know each other. And the best amongst you is the one who is a well-mannered person. So we say to our fellow brothers and sisters of humanity, that unity of humanity is part of the Sharia guidance. Muhammad, peace be upon him, he said that you are not a full believer if you eat your food and your neighbors are hungry. So taking care of the neighbors, the poor, the hungry, the needy is part of the Sharia law. Paradise lies under the feet of your mothers. That means taking care of your mothers, respecting our parents, being good to the elders. That's one of the ways of going to paradise. So taking care of our parents is part of the Sharia law. Muhammad, peace be upon him, in an authentic narration he said, you know, Say something good or remain silent. To speak always good and truthful for betterment of humanity, that's part of the Sharia law. So we give them examples just to let them know what the Sharia law means. Then I would say, you know, just like some people in the Christian faith, they have abused the Bible, taken things out, taken things out of context from the Bible and have done the crusades, the Spanish Inquisition, the genocide of the Native Americans, the slave trades. In the name of the Bible, we don't blame the Bible or Christianity, we blame those Christians. In the same way, if some people, ignorant Muslims, in the name of Jihad or Sharia or the Quran, if they are doing things that goes against the Quran, we blame them but not the Quran. And last but not the least, we summarize again and we let, let them know. They do not fear that Sharia law is coming to the USA. It's not coming to the USA because it's already here. When the constitution says that you are innocent until proven guilty, that is part of the Sharia law. When the constitution says that men and women, they should be given equal pay for equal work, that is part of the Sharia law. When the constitution says that all races are equal, that is part of the Sharia law. When I pray five times a day, when I give charity to the poor, I am practicing Sharia law, when I'm smiling at you and helping you, that is part of the Sharia law. So Sharia law is Allah's guidance that is going to make humanity peaceful, just, unified, moral, and a society that is going to be the best of all the societies. And that is the Sharia law. Yes. Wow, that's really nice. That's really nice over there. Um, I just want to ask one question. Just let me know um, uh, on your own context or maybe uh, on your own um, words, what does Sharia law mean? Just let me know in the comment section below. I'd really be happy to see what you guys say. But anyway, um, I learned about the Sharia laws when I was in the primary level. I was studying with a lot of Muslims. As I was growing up, I realized there's something that is called Sharia law. But since I was really young, I didn't know what that was was really. 
and I didn't want to like go into uh, doing a research or maybe trying to look into it or something like that. But um, it reached a time that I realized that they're just guidance, you know, something that guides you to the right path or something that guides you not to do certain things or something like that, which is, which should be practiced by all human beings or maybe all the Muslims or rather. I mean, Sharia law, it's not a bad thing. It is a good thing. Just like when we have the Ten Commandments, we follow the Ten Commandments, just like you have your constitutional laws in your country. It's just the same thing, but in a different angle, you get it? Which is not a bad thing. I think it's just people are just trying to um, abuse it, trying to make it look so extreme. They're giving it, they're making it, like they're making it look so extreme. There are extremist people out there who are trying to make the Sharia law just look bad, you get it? What they do is just they pick the, the negative ones, or maybe they pick one or two things that they feel like they shouldn't be here or people should have their own rights to do such kind of things. And the way the guy explained was like out of the book of the Quran or something like that, it's only 0.5% that talks about punishment. Even if you put it in a, in a page, it won't fill up the page or something like that. I feel like people shouldn't abuse the Sharia law or maybe anything that is, 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 is put upon people to, to I mean, anything that is put upon people for guidance, you get it. Let's not look into the negative side of it. Let's not look into the into the downside of it. Just, let's just try to be positive and follow exactly what it says. And also he went on and talked about the problem that we are facing. It's not about the Quran. The Quran has no problem. The Bible has no problem. The Judaism, whatever Bible that they use, has no problem. The problem is with the people themselves, the Christians, the Muslims and whatnot. They are the ones who become so extreme and they want it they want it to look bad in uh they want they want the they want the books to look bad or something like that i i think it's just us who are failing ourselves i think so because there are people out there who does it who they don't want things to go the right way they will always come up with something and make it look just awkward and then make other people believe that this thing is bad so i think it shouldn't be that way let's just According to my own opinion, I feel like um, there's nothing wrong about the Sharia law. Everything is, is okay. It's just the extremists out there who are trying to make it look bad. But anyway, guys, the laws are out there to help us. I don't think there are laws that are out there to oppress us. If there's a law out there that is oppressing us, I feel it's just that probably we, 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 we don't want to adhere to it. Or probably we see that... Uh, like it's not actually aligning to the way of living or something like that so i think it's just a personal type of thing yeah anyway guys if you feel like i reacted to this video in a better way give me a thumbs up and don't forget to go down our comment section tell us exactly what you feel about our reaction or what you feel about my reaction or rather this uh reaction or rather and what you feel about um this question here that this lady asked such an amazing question just let me know the comment section below and also i asked a question earlier i said that guys just let me know just give me um your own um on your own words just let me know what sharia law is and i'll be really happy to read your comments and yeah and also the most important thing that don't forget to subscribe to our channel the more you keep on subscribing the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better better content and last but not the least I'm going to see you, or rather we're going to see you in the next video. Peace out.